All right, number one here, working on getting that F sharp diminished down in these uh, chord changes. So you don't have to stop at 120. If you can go faster than that, that would be very beneficial because if you can play that, let's say 140 or 160, that means you are far more efficient at this thing. So remember, this is in a 6-4 time signature, so you have this note lasting three whole beats, okay? So you got a decent chunk of time to get from this to this and so on. So even though it's 6-4, I'm still going to count out four because that's what we always do. One, two, three, four. subdivision going the whole time the whole time the whole time the whole time count along as you play from 60 to 120 at the very least but do not stop at 120 if you can go further and here we go 60 one two three four one two three Blew that. Take two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and and four. One and and four. Done. There we go. All right. Um, hundred. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Subdivision going works this week. 
Uh, if it's still difficult for you to follow with the metronome and all that stuff, we're going to have to just have you practice with Guitar Pro 100% of the time. So we'll see what happens. The only problem with doing that is uh, when you demonstrate stuff at the beginning of class, I won't be able to hear Guitar Pro play back on Skype. You need like a separate kind of speaker thing going on. So like Skype would have its own audio setting and then Guitar Pro would be playing on a different thing. Uh, but what we also could do, if we need to go that route, is we still practice 100% with Guitar Pro, and then we just demonstrate with regular metronome when we uh, meet, and just see how well you do once you are not listening to the video track. But so, just yeah, we'll see what happens this week, and if any questions come up, let me know. We'll see you next time.